Week 1 at Team Drift has been very productive. We started by reading the game rules and the game manual. After this, we devised a game strategy. After this game strategy, we chose different aspects of the game to focus on. First, we created a 3D computer aided design model. After this, we created two models for the, for the arms. First, a small, small model who could work uh, by grabbing a box. The second model was an actual big prototype which we used to grab the, what, grab the crate and it would work. We also started building the field parts and the field uh, human player station. After this, we started focusing on programming and programming the drive kit, which we got to work and programmed the RoboRio successfully. The software team also accomplished something that we had never accomplished before. We used an ultrasonic sensor to sense the distance from the robot to the nearest wall. This would allow us to move forwards and backwards to find the right spot for a robot. We decided to use a lift mechanism, one with a pulley, so that it could help us lift the crates that we needed to lift. This messed up all our electronics and we had to rearrange them today. So far, we've been able to build a success successful drivetrain, program the drivetrain, as well as some of the pistons that we will be using for the, for the clamps. We look forward to the upcoming weeks of the building season. See you at the competition! This is week two here at Team Drift. This week, we finalized our narrow drivetrain, which we chose because it was more convenient considering our high center of gravity. Meanwhile, we kept working on our prototype, began work on feeder, which will pull in the totes and recycling bin. This week, we started and completed our lifting mechanism using a custom-made sheet of metal which fits in to the totes and bin. Finally, this Saturday, we installed our brand new CNC. For more information on Team Drift, visit our Instagram page and come see us next week. Good luck and see you next week! Hello, this is week three here at Team Drift, and we're halfway through the build season. This week, we finalized our prototype and are proud to say that it works very well and is able to lift not only one, but two totes and the recycling bin at the same time. We used two arms with rollers to bring in the totes and the bins. Then, using a customized sheet of metal made in a brand new CNC, we're able to lift the totes and the bins easily and quickly. On Wednesday, we took our robot out for a test drive at the school gym and had fun while watching the product of our work. We have now started the design of our final robot on SolidWorks. Come see us next week for a week four video. Good luck and see you at the competition. Three, two, one, go!